What is going on everyone, it is Alex from E4i and today I will be using a few different benchmark tests to compare this year's iPhones to last year's iPhones. Whenever I get a new device, I usually like to use these four tests to compare the devices and see how they perform against each other. Geekbench 3 tests the processor, 3D Mark is a graphics test, Speed Test tests the LTE connection, and Sun Spider is an internet browser test. All the way on the left here is the iPhone 5C, to the right of that is the iPhone 5S, then the iPhone 6, and the iPhone 6 Plus all the way on the right. The iPhone 5C has an Apple A6 processor, the 5S has an Apple A7 processor, and the 6 and 6 Plus both have Apple A8 processors. All these are clocked at about 1.3 GHz and also all have 1 GB of RAM. Taking a look at the scores, the iPhone 6 was actually the best performing device. The iPhone 6 Plus was just under that. You're really not going to notice any difference there, they're very close. The iPhone 5S is a little bit below the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, but still performs very well. And the iPhone 5C is much below that. Still a pretty good device, but doesn't perform nearly as well as the 5S, 6, and 6 Plus. Now heading into 3D Mark, which again is our graphics test, this is going to give you an idea of how well these devices will perform when playing games that require a lot of graphics power. I'm not going to make you sit through the whole test because it's an off-screen test anyway, but as you can see, the iPhone 6 Plus is the best when it comes to graphics, so if you play a lot of heavy graphics games, you might want to look into the 6 Plus, but the iPhone 5S 6 and 6 Plus all perform pretty well. The iPhone 5C definitely trails behind. For the speed test, I ran them all at different times because one, I don't have all these phones activated, so I had to switch the SIM card out, and also I don't want them interfering with each other since they're connecting to the network. And here are the scores that I got. So the blue speeds are the download speeds in megabytes per second, and the green is the upload speeds in megabytes per second. The iPhone 5C actually has the fastest download speed, and that may be due to the fact that it has a completely plastic case, whereas the other iPhones have a metal case, so it may get better reception because it doesn't have to go through all that metal. Besides that, all the upload speeds were generally the same. There were some that were better than others, but they were pretty close. And the iPhone 6 had the second best download speed, and the 5S and 6 Plus had really similar download speeds as well. I thought the 6 and 6 Plus would have much faster speeds than the other two phones because they do support different LTE bands, but at least in my test, that didn't seem to make much of a difference. And finally, the last test is SunSpider, which runs directly in Safari. It uses JavaScript to test the speed of the web browser. And I tested all of these separately as well because they're on the same Wi-Fi network and I didn't want them to interfere with each other. So here are the scores I got. All of these number readouts are in milliseconds. And keep in mind that the lower score is the best. So the iPhone 6 Plus actually had the lowest score because it had the lowest number. And it kind of moves up from there. The iPhone 6 had the next best score, followed by the 5S and the 5C. The 5S, 6, and 6 Plus, like the trend of the other tests, are pretty similar. And the 5C stands out from the rest of the group with a much worse score. Keep in mind that there is some controversy related to benchmark tests. They're not always the most accurate way of testing devices because companies are able to cheat their scores, but hopefully this gave you kind of an idea of how the new iPhones will compare to last year's models. Also, let me know down in the comments below what other videos would you like to see related to the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. I have a lot planned for these devices, and also let me know what device you have down in the comments, and if you run any of these benchmark tests on your phone, let me know how they compare to the 6 and 6 Plus. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya.